Today we're on board a 2015 Sunseeker 75 yacht. It's quite chilly but still beautiful to film as you will see in the drone video and this Sunseeker 75 yacht is the only one currently available in Europe. And we have the pleasure to offer this yacht for sale. And in this video we'll give you a full walkthrough tour. Personally, I think the Sunseeker 75 yacht is one of the best in her class, at the sweet spot between size, volume, rough water performance and maneuverability. At 22.98 meter length and 5.73 meter width, she is compact. She is based on the very successful predecessor, the Sunseeker Manhattan 73. And this you can see at the same beam of 5.73 meters. But the designers at Sunseeker did a good job in making a great yacht, which the 73 Manhattan was, an even better yacht, the 75 yacht. Okay, at this helm station, situated at the starboard side, what I really like is what I mentioned before, the view down to the platform. So, standing here, um, hands on the bow and stern thruster or joystick or the control steering wheel which you can actually tilt also upwards so you can stand better and also you move this uh, to the back you can see down to the rear and the edge of the platform and you can also see the bow so this is a really nice uh, position to maneuver the yacht here we have the navigation displays from simrad the um, uh, multifunction displays uh, where you can put multiple uh, overlays. This is the anchor uh, chain counter, MTU engine displays, the autopilot. Then you have a fuel level indicator, the joystick which is uh, 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 attached basically to the two uh, bow and stern thrusters which are powered hydraulically from the uh, two PTOs, the hydraulic uh, packs um, connected to the engine. So you can operate uh, the, all the hydraulics for the stabilization system and the stern and bow thruster on the engines or on the generator because the generator also gives the power to a uh, separate um, uh, hydraulic pack when the engines are turned off. Trim tabs, and here you have your control units. This yacht has also installed a wireless yacht controller, which you can basically switch on and off uh, from here. And then, of course, you need to uh, uh, switch on the control unit, uh, the wireless control unit. Then here you open the hardtop, which you're going to show. Here's the surge uh, light. And then uh, basically, yeah, that's the tidy cockpit. So let's open the hard top so if we can quickly show um, how nicely this actually opens up. So, and that's the maximum it can open, giving a lot of uh, sunlight. And then here we have this uh, beautiful lounge with the table that you can retract. And underneath the um, sofas, there's lots of storage so you can store everything. And then we have the crane option. Sorry, it's a bit windy, so let me change position. And then here we have the uh, sink, some uh, bottle cooler where you can put some ice and then put all the bottles. And this is the active cool box that uh, you can change the power there. And this is the, the grill with the safety switch, so when this is pressed, it kind of uh, cuts the power to the electric grill plate. Then here, as you can see in a separate video, we have a fridge and then basically the ice maker is over here. Coming to the bow area, you have the Fusion uh, sound system control here, you have the uh, loudspeakers, you have the starboard side storage, you have your drinks holders and then of course the comfortable sofa and those backrests actually flip up so you have here a nice um, uh, kind of U-shaped um, bar that arrests uh, this backrest in that position and then you can also put it uh, down and just enjoy the sun in that beautiful lo forward lounge and then put it down again and of course also the port side locker which you open by pulling this out and then you have lots of storage for your lines and 
even the uh, fenders if you want to put them here. Generally, uh, the crew puts the fenders into the aft uh, crew cabin or fifth cabin, depending on how you want to use it. I think that's a very strong point of this uh, yacht, actually, that you have the uh, additional uh, kind of crew cabin slash uh, guest cabin for kids or something. And then um, you can also use it as storage. So I think that's the great flexibility. Well, what else to show here? If we go a bit forward, you have the um, anchor arrangement, which is the Lumor uh, anchor winch. And of course, uh, the anchor compartment where you can put all your chains. And then important to mention is that the owners will actually include in the price a fresh installation of a beautiful teak deck that will be installed in March. And uh, for me, this is uh, really something that will upgrade the look and feel of this yacht uh, massively. What I love also about the Sunseeker 75 yacht is the hydraulic bathing platform. And this one is actually a brand new Williams jet tender model from 2021. Also, we have here the access to the storage and crew cabin. This one is actually fitted out completely, as you can see. And of course, we put all the fenders inside now, but uh, we'll show you some clean pictures later. And then this hydraulic platform can actually be put down fully into the water by um, pressing these buttons if we come up here. So the hydraulic bassing platform is actually controlled with these buttons. You press enable and then up or down. This is the control panel for the Besançoni passerelle that comes out here of the stairs. And those are the Lumor uh, winches that you control with the foot uh, button here. And then this hatch actually uh, hides nicely the mooring lines. In the aft cockpit, we have a beautifully set up table, sofa, and some deck chairs. In total, I think you can comfortably fit eight people and maybe 10 with some kids included. And of course, you have on both sides a safety door that you can close. And then if you look at the wet bar, that's where the battery switches are hidden in that compartment. You have a nice countertop. Again, top loader, um, actively cooled fridge, the fire extinguisher, and then here's the hatch to the engine room. And this griddle here basically makes uh, it possible to have this saloon door integrated uh, on a flush uh, level because water that would come uh, inside just got, uh, get, gets drained here. And one particular cool feature about this Sunsega 75 yacht is that you can actually open this saloon door completely and actually slide it uh, to the side so that you have a very open, generous uh, kind of transition between the outside and inside. This huge opening allows gentle breeze to flow into the saloon, where we actually have a beautifully set up sofa lounge. Very important to mention, of course, this sofa will be completely changed and renewed, so included in the price will also be a new sofa. Here we have a comfortable TV lounge, little table to have your coffee, and then the TV is integrated in a beautiful angle. Below the sofa is actually lots of storage, as we can see with the uh, drawers that are coming out here. You can put your, uh, tuck your things away. And then here we have the hi-fi uh, video compartment, Blu-ray disc player and the Fusion sound system. Samsung Smart TV and uh, up here are the air vents for the air conditioning. That's also um, cleverly integrated. And then we have this separated yet still kind of integrated area coming from the sofa lounge into the dining area. We have a fixed bench, a fixed dining table with some stools around it. And this is kind of framed with the bar where you have the compartment for all the glasses. You have a wine cooler. And then 
important if you want to have more fresh air you can open this side door and of course also for the crew it's nice to go outside it's a very open setup which you need to like i mean if you want to have your crew always hidden then this is probably not the right one the right yacht for you but on the other side this is actually uh, uh, beautifully um, integrated with, with the living area and the dining. So here you have your kitchen with uh, the cooking field, the oven, then you have a, a storage compartment and um, here the bin, the sink and even a washing machine. You have the uh, freezer drawers that you can pull out like this. I think it's very practical and then of course a nice fridge and then here actually sorry underneath you have a um, extractor fan for the hop and then you have some more storage so that was the kitchen let's go into the helm station which is nicely set up with the Sunseeker management system where everything is at a touch of your fingers let's go into settings for example and then you have um, the DC power uh, where you see your voltage or you want to see the fuel tank levels, water levels and then also you have um, for example the um, AC power where you can control your generators, you can start and stop them from here you see the hours, it's 2244 and 2292 at the beginning of February 2022 so then we also have the um, multifunction displays from Simrad which you control here. You can switch the displays on this unit and of course your steering wheel. The engine switches with the um, emergency switches nicely covered so you don't press them by accident. That's actually the um, side power stabilization display. You have some air conditioning vents that you can move around so you go, don't overheat yourself. Then you have the MTU engine displays. Everything is nicely in reach. Joystick is here, as you can see. And then you have um, the trim tabs and the wipers, navigation lights, bilge pumps, lighting control. This is the um, autopilot. And here you have your hydraulically operated bow and stern thrusters that actually connect to the engines and the um, joystick system so that's uh, if you activate the joystick then the thrusters and the engines will work simultaneously so you can actually go sideways it's not an IPS system so the propellers don't move so it's fixed shafts with uh, the stern and bow thrusters integrated into the joystick uh, control system coming down from the stairs from the helm stations you have here the switchboard panel and then hidden here a lot of uh, storage compartment and that's also where you could push could put your washing machine or a second one as you have one in the crew cabin and then here you are in the master cabin with a nice day sofa on the side which has some storage underneath and then the beautiful big window with the integrated porthole you have the cosmetic table that you can open like this and these are the mosquito nets which you can put over the portholes which is really important that you don't get bitten all the time by the mosquitoes samsung smart tv integrated into the wall panel and then you have some more storage underneath that big window as well and also under the queen size bed you have some storage here's the um, hatch to open the mechanism and then here you have a little bit of uh, door space and then going here further you have a walk-in wardrobe with a nice mirror and then this is a sliding door that you pull like this and then feature lamp some more drawers and then entering into the bathroom with a beautifully big shower with natural light coming in through the porthole and then some storage behind those um, mirror doors 
and then single sink configuration with some more storage down below. And this is the starboard side VIP cabin. Also here under the bed, you have some drawer space that is nicely arranged. And this is the twin cabin en suite shower and toilet bathroom with beautiful natural light coming inside the porthole and window. It's the twin bed cabin on the port side where you have also some drawer space and the beautiful side window. Going forward, there is the VIP cabin in the bow with a queen size bed and its own ensuite shower and bathroom. So, we're at the end of the video and let me give you a little summary. The owners will invest into a new teak deck, into a new sofa. They have just finished the engine generator service. The hours are about 1,300, as you can see in the specs, and also the generators at 2,400. It's well used for the age, but not overused. It's well maintained, you can really see that. The crew pays a lot of attention to details. And actually it's in winter mode, so I mean what you see is kind of the winter mode of the yacht. It's not prepared for the season yet, it's not fully cleaned, yet it's really shiny and beautifully arranged by the crew. I have to make a big compliment. I think that's something really important and reassuring if you know that also during the winter time the crew really takes uh, uh, pr pride in keeping the boat um, in, in tip-top shape. Also uh, what we would like uh, uh, to mention is that this yacht is the only one in Europe currently available for sale. So if you want a yacht that is ready to cruise in March or April, this is the yacht for you. And also make sure to check out our other yachts for sale on breezeyachting.swiss slash yachts for sale. And also we keep an extensive database of off-market opportunities in yachts. So if this one's not the right for you, we will have that we will find you the right yacht. So we have that matchmaking service. Call us, tell us what you're looking for, and we'll find the right yacht for you. We're traveling constantly in Europe, Turkey, Greece, everywhere to find the good boats. If you have a boat for sale, call us also. We're happy to list it and get it sold. Currently, we're selling about one month a boat. Thanks for watching the video. If you're interested, send us an email, press the WhatsApp button. We're here for you. We speak yachting. Let's talk.